I'm making Utah's number one favorite takeout dish, carne asada french fries. Utah was the only state that had carne asada french fries as their number one, so I had to go out and try it. I went to the place that I know everybody would go to get them, and between you and me, I was pretty disappointed, which is why I decided to make it myself. I knew I could make it so much better than that, and we're going to show you exactly how to do it. First, we want to marinate the skirt steak, and I'm using a half a cup of soy sauce as the base. Add the juice and zest of one lime, then a few glugs of Worcestershire sauce. And yes, glugs are a scientific measurement. One teaspoon of cumin. And one tablespoon of, oh, oh, make that three quarters of a tablespoon of chili powder. Three garlic cloves and a half a bunch of cilantro, but you can skip that if you're one of the unlucky ones that think it tastes like soap. Blitz the whole thing until it's smooth. The butcher gave me nearly four pounds of skirt steak at $5.50 a pound, which is way more than I need. I'm planning to seal up the rest and freeze it for some other meals. The skirt steak is full of flavor, but it has to be cooked right or it's gonna to be tough. And if you're wondering why it's so long, it's because it's attached to the diaphragm of the cow. Trim off any extra silver skin or excess fat if your butcher left it behind. Then cut it to six to eight inch lengths to make it easier to grill. When it comes to marinades, I prefer the ease of use of a gallon zipper bag. Put all the meat inside of it and you can throw it away when you're done. Then cover the entire thing with the marinade that you just made. Let all the air out and then give it a massage to make sure that every part of the meat is covered before we put it in the fridge for four to eight hours so the marinade can do its magic. Carne asada fries have to have good fries and we're using the extra crispy method by parboiling them with some baking soda. The full instructions are in another video that I'll link to in the description. Of course, you could always use your favorite frozen fries if you're in a hurry. Light up about three quarters of a chimney of charcoal using your favorite method. I'm adding a few small chunks of mesquite to add more flavor. Mesquite is really strong, but will be more mild since we're using a hot fire for the cook. Once it's fully lit, add it to your grill. This will put the mesquite wood at the bottom and keeps it from catching fire. Then add your grill grates. It's gonna take a few minutes to reach their max temperature. So in the meantime, I'm gonna roast up some chilies for salsa and to top the fries. The high heat will make quick work of blackening the skin, adding a bunch of flavor it also makes it easier to peel them so you can get a softer bite. So skirt steak is really thin and the best way to cook it is over a ripping hot fire because if you cook it low and slow, it's not gonna get the charred bits and it's gonna be overcooked. So the hottest fire you can get, cook it really fast on both sides, we're shooting for medium rare. Mrs. GTE and I got our timing off in the fries so I put the lid on the grill to cool things off and conserve the fuel. Now that it's time to grill, I removed the grate and added some fresh charcoal. So with the vents fully open, it should be ready to sear in 10 minutes or less. I wait to add the grate until right before I'm ready to cook, and this keeps it from instantly burning the meat with all the stored heat that ends up in the grill grates. So grill the marinated carne asada for a few minutes per side until you get the char that you want. I cleaned off the grill grates in between batches so nothing ended up tasting burnt. I could have grilled them all at the same time, but doing them in batches gives you a chance to mess one up and not ruin dinner. The second batch is almost always better than the first, which is another plus. So check the meat with a touch test or a thermometer. You're aiming for 125 to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. When cutting the skirt steak, you always need to pay attention to the grain of the meat. It has thick fibers and it'll be tough if you cut it the wrong way. Make sure you cut it against the grain to keep it tender. Now's the time to put it all together and those potato wedges came out super crispy and were well worth the wait and the effort. Add a bit of cheese and then I put it back on the grill for a minute or two to melt it all together. Then add as much meat as you like. Of course, you gotta add some tomatoes, fresh guacamole, sour cream, and top it all off with some roasted peppers. So let's see if we made it better than takeout. Oh. These french fries are so much better than the ones when we got with takeout because they aren't soggy. They're super crispy all the way around and the meat has way more flavor than anything that we would have gotten. And not only that, this guacamole has actual avocados in it. 
not any of that pureed green stuff that you usually get at a lot of these places. So if you're looking to pick up your game and make some awesome carne asada fries, this is the way to do it. Enjoy. <laughs>